my goodness like can I get this together like really can I can I get it together this is like my third filming of the intro and you would think it's gonna be a short intro like why are you having issues I don't know I don't know so <laughs> this look today is what this tutorial is all about you know we're getting into fall um, some things are changing um, as far as the weather our skin uh, types generally change around this time as the weather gets cooler so of course we'll change our primers and foundations you know due to the change in skin type or the skin color change so you know that's what this tutorial is all about so if you like to see how I achieve this you know fall look definitely stay tuned and the palette i pretty much use i think no not pretty much i use anastasia beverly hills uh eyeshadows and it's pretty much this palette i did use the caramel uh which i love 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 i love that eyeshadow it is simply amazing and it is great 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 uh transition color for my skin tone and it can work well in creases if you're lighter or you know whatever but that's just like a nice brown color but this is the palette here and it came out um you know in summer but in perfect time for the weather change in the fall this is a gorgeous palette at only 30 dollars and if you have any Ulta rewards, you can take that money and knock that off of the palette. Yes. And get that palette discounted even lower. So I absolutely love this. I think it's awesome. There's a couple mattes in here, but most of them are uh, some of the shimmer tone eyeshadows. So anyway, um, if you like to see how I've achieved this look and my fall routine, stay tuned. Right. Oh, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. So if you have not subscribed already, please do so. And if you like tutorials, thumbs up the video. And if there are any particular videos that you're interested in seeing or reviews for any particular products, definitely let me know. Um, you know, I would love to have you join the channel and I would love for my existing subscribers to be happy with what I'm bringing to you but if you don't let me know what you're looking for then I don't really know so anyway that is it thanks guys okay I'm starting with priming my eyes uh, with the eyeshadow primer that I created um, so check out my last try it video for that and then I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills caramel eyeshadow as the transition color and your transition colors are just going to be a little bit darker, the same skin tone, um, just to do a gradating effect for your shadows. So I'm just kind of sweeping that over the lid back and forth. And then I'm going to do the same to the bottom underneath the eye. Okay, and using the World Travelers palette, um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm going in using the Morocco and that is going to go right above the crease area. And I was using a Zoeva um, blending brush um, for the transition. There it is there. And then I'm using a Smashbox um, brush as well. Alright, going in with the fudge. I'm using a uh, MAC Duo Fiber brush there kind of going right into the crease with that. All right, and then I'm following the colors by using the same above as below the eye as well. And I'm just really trying to make sure that I have a good representation of all the colors so that it can stand out uh, without being like too crazy bold. So I'm using the um, LA Girl White Out of Eyeshadow Primer. I'm using that on along my lid as well as in the waterline. And then I just got my Inglot Duraline in today. So I'm using that in conjunction with the uh, Pink Champagne. So I'm going to go over my eyelid with the Soft Peach first since Pink Champagne is just a lot of shimmer and not a lot of shadow. Um, since it's not quite as pigmented, I'm having to use a Duraline to really sweep it on and use soft peach underneath it. 
So I'm just kind of going in there and packing that over the lid, dabbing a little bit of the Duraline in there as well. And then I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo uh, Eyeliner. I just got it in a kit from Sephora where there are like, uh, I think, five eyeshadow, um, not eyeshadows, eyeliners all in one. And I absolutely love it. Okay, so using the Neutrogena Post Shave Balm going all over my face. And then, of course, we got to get that oily T-zone. So I'm using the Becca Evermat Pore Perfecting Pore Primer. Ugh, can I get it out? Anyway, nothing new. Um, I have an oily T-zone no matter what the season. So, and then the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. I love that foundation. I mean, Becca... Um, Full cream coverage uh, was my love of my life. Uh, however, this is a less expensive version. I mean, in my opinion, um, that was 44 I think this is, Kat Von D is like 36 So if you don't mind a full coverage, if I love it because I don't feel like I have to go back and um, correct or conceal any particular area. So that's why I love it. All right, the Matte Pro Long Wear Concealer. This is NC42 that I'm using to highlight with. All right, and just touching the forehead a little bit, going down the nose, underneath the eyes, on either side of my face here, and then kind of carving out that cheekbone area. And then I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. <laughs> yes, and I'm letting that set, which is basically baking it. And then I'm using the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Medium Deep with the Sigma Flat Kabuki Brush. And I'm kind of like sweeping the excess powder and then patting the uh, that powder in. Um, all right, and then I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette, using the two darker shades out of there, and kind of going along my crown, along the cheekbones. I really want to carve the cheeks out here, kind of get rid of my chipmunk cheeks and get more of a cheekbone and sculpted face, kind of suck those uh, cheeks in there. And then I'm going in with the bronzer. This is a Tark Park Avenue Princess Bronzer, one of my favorite bronzers. And then I'm using the Betty Lou Luminizer. And this is from the Balm Cosmetics you can find at Kohl's. It reminds me of Topaz. It's not quite as pigmented as Becca. However, it is very pigmented, but <sighs> Becca is in another world. But it's, it's almost there. Almost, almost. Not quite, but almost. So I'm just kind of using that. I want to kind of touch the points of my nose, make sure my, I have a bridge that stands out on my nose, which I don't have if I don't because I got a flat, flat nose. So just kind of giving it some shape. And then it wasn't quite enough definition to my face as far as bringing out some of that color because that gold kind of like really blended in. So I like to go in, I don't know, I've been doing that lately with two highlighters. And then I'm pulling out the Balm Cindy Luminizer. All right, and for blush, I'm using MAC Sweet As Cocoa. I love, love, love it. I mean, it is like a mineralized kind of skin finish, kind of nude. Um, you know, it's not like a lot of shimmer or a lot of pigmentation to it, which I absolutely love. Okay, so using the MAC Plum Lip Liner, which is one of my favorites for the fall. The battery did die on me if you're wondering why I skipped that forward that fast. But I use Color Rain Soul Liquid Lipstick. And then I'm just going in the powder area, as you can see here, with sugar. I love that mixture. Love, love, love it. So I'm going along uh, the lips here in the Cupid's Bow. And then I'm taking those... Um, highlighters that I use and in going into the inner tear duct area of the eyes so I love using that highlighters are used for more than just highlighting your cheeks okay and basically this is a finished look trying to get that wig right <laughs> all right so I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe and share the video thanks see you next time